Millions of Americans suffer from arthritis and other joint related issues. And many of us just live with the pain until we can't stand it anymore. And we have to have surgery, but there are other options out there. And here today to talk about those options is Dr. Mike Jablonski, who is the president of the Orlando Health Jewett Orthopedic Institute. Welcome, thanks for being here. I appreciate you having me. So many people just live with pain because of joint issues and they're afraid to go to the doctor because they don't wanna walk in and be told immediately, well, your only option is surgery. And that's really not the case. No, we try to avoid surgery anytime that we can. There are many times that I'm talking to patients out of surgery. Uh, they'll come here thinking, I need to have surgery. And then I have to say, well, let's backtrack. Let's look at your problem. And is surgery really the answer? And a lot of times it's no. The non-operative approach to most orthopedic problems is something that we also specialize in. Okay. So not only physical therapy, bracing, but we talk a lot about injections. And I think the whole world of injections, there's a lot of misinformation out there. And I like to talk to patients about it and try to explain to them What's real, what's not real? What can you expect? Um, what should you think is gonna happen when you get something injected into your body? Right, because we've heard about all kinds of crazy things like rooster cartilage, right? And, exactly. And so, so what is it that's sure. getting injected into us? Right. Well, there's really four categories of injections. The first one is corticosteroids. A lot of us say cortisone. Uh, cortisone is sort of a generic term. There are different types of cortisone. Uh, there's visco supplementation, which is the, the rooster comb that you're okay. talking about. Yes. So visco supplementation is hyaluronic acid. Okay. Uh, we have that in our joints already. And initially it came from the comb of a rooster. So the red thing on a rooster's head, I get asked all the time, how did they figure that out? I have no idea, but somebody <laughs> figured it out. There's PRP, which is platelet-rich plasma, and then there's stem cells. The problem with stem cells are, are they truly stem cells? Do they work? How well do they work? And is it worth the cost? A lot of stem cell injections are anywhere from $5,000 to $7,000 per injection. So I think as a patient, I would have a lot of questions as exactly what is it doing? And I don't think that question's been answered. So for my patients, if we have corticosteroids, which used appropriately can be very safe, visco supplementation, which is the rooster comb, that's something that's approved by insurance. So we do have techniques that are non-operative, that are injectables, covered by insurance to reduce pain. Should we be doing that? Or stem cells, which the science has not proven it regrows or fixes anything, and it's anywhere from five to $7,000. I'm not against stem cells. Uh, again, I hope one day in the future that they do work, but right now, the science is just not there in my opinion. And if you would like more information, you can visit orlandohealth.com ortho.